we didn't see a viable pathway to iterate as to connect. Why did you decide to kind of rebuild this completely instead of just iterating on the old system? Because, I mean, obviously people were already on there. People were using it. That would have been nice. We had, I think it was 60,000 monthly active users. It was, it was, uh, it was and, and growing quite rapidly. The challenge was that Aztec Connect was built from scratch with the with latest technology we had at our disposal. Um, you know, no one had really built a fully private rollout before. So we were figuring out a lot from the first time. And in hindsight, we made a lot of architectural missteps that we wanted to correct. We didn't really have a viable path to iteratively upgrading Aztec Connect to add programmability into it. Everything changed. Um, you know, the semantics of how you call create transactions, the cryptographic proving system that you need to use, the node software and, and its interface and its API. We quickly realized what we wanted to build was unrecognizable compared to what we already had, and that we needed to take those learnings and that institutional knowledge and, and recast it, but we, we didn't see a viable pathway to iterate as to connect, unfortunately.